Hey, what's up, guys? It's Sami again here, and here is coffee time. And today is Sunday, 30 April 2023 from Netherlands. What we want to do today, we want to make a Blazor application and we want to upload Excel to our database. It wants to say, for example, mm, let's see, I have here uh, in my file, I have here Excel excel page it has three data with name last name and client and we i want uh, with one click upload this excel to our database okay and let's go to this is our project which we use uh, in our uh, youtube and it has a interface there if i'm doing like this there we implement our method and now i have made a method we have here x class i made x class for for educational purposes of this video this class because uh, like this you get a page like this and you have to make a, a program for this because we have here name last name and client as header and data members we have to make a c sharp class with those data which is this one which is matched to our excel header okay and here is our database context which is here and really nothing special really nothing special and here is our database uh, let's uh, let's say here application json number 16 let's go to number 16 let's see what's there because i have tested one number 16 uh, let me go tables, let me to go X because I have tested, I have to remove those things. I say, okay, I'm going to remove those things and now this is empty, okay? And here, here is uh, our implement class, here, here. And we want now to implement a method which is accept a string as a file name. If you take a look at here, we have here in our root application i have made a test folder which is my is there my.xl xls and which is if i'm going to files and then i mean if i'm going to here to root i have your test folder my what is inside my three member let's say v v v v g g g g h h and 10 10 four data let's say okay yes four data there is there okay four data and now here i have a method for you guys because i i you i make a let me i make a use of this uh, this package which is this one uh ep plus okay uh, and here i have a method here here i'm going to explain it because i don't want to write three times okay i have here a path path which is the path where is my files because i have an excel file defined and here is the path and file info is going to get the info of that file these are all the standard things and excel package here is the library which is ep2 which you can study more if you want and like this i have here a list of my class and here i'm going to to make a use of that 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 uh, library here i use my page and here i choose here i say uh, if the column was one uh, i mean when i say when column was one which is this one let me uh, for example let me give me this this header because we have to we have to calculate that uh, when i say that here here zero one we have to know where are we and that's why we count them and i said and i want here to say and if a column was three less uh, clant is equal to that and this is our method it's going to commit after that it's going to commit that that list with at range because we have more than one maybe in this list there is one million or I, I don't know maximum things okay this is a method and now let me go to my uh, front end page i mean my component type 
which is uh, Excel here, here. I have simple avoid method. Uh, first of all, I have inject our uh, repository, which is context here. And now context, I, I take that method, which I made here, save Excel, and it accept one string. If you remember, it accept one string as path file, which I used to, to recognize where I am. And then I want to show my user also, which is no need, but I want because when you sit to work and if you get nothing bad, you get tired and that I want to, to, to think about them when they are sitting. Okay, let's go here. Here is our table, uh, X table, which is empty now. And now let's go to the Excel, which is data save two. I want to navigate to that page here and here here I have a button you see when I click on button it's going to call or fire that save Excel method let's do that save boom first it saved data for us here to database refresh look at this it commit all data for us to database and then it shows us that data because I told them here here we have a list of data and then just show user which we committed which is here guys I hope you enjoy this one uh, this is very very useful to you and see you in the next one have a nice day